Hello everyone, welcome to Testing Universe. In this video, we will learn how to swap two numbers in Java. Let's say I have two numbers a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. Right after swapping, uh, the output of the program should be b is equal to 10 and a is equal to 20. Right. So how do we achieve this? We can achieve this with the help of uh, uh, third variable. That is the first way and we can achieve this without using third variable that is the second way right so we will see both the ways uh, let me create one method with i will say third variable so that third variable would, would be temp okay so int a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 and then temp temp is the third variable i am going to use here so how do we uh, swap this right so in my temp i will be assigning the value of a so now the temp would be 10 and since i have already assigned a uh, value of a to temp i can change the value of a right so a is equal to b means now a will be 20 and since i have already placed value of b in a right so half of half of my requirement is already done means after swapping a should be 20 right so a will be 20 here so b will be 10 means i have a in or 10 value 10 in temp that i will be assigning to b right so if we see the output right value of a and b after swapping right a i will just put some space here or some formatting b similarly i will place this before swapping this is before swapping so let's see let's execute this program so in my main method i'm just going to create an object for this because I have to call that a method swap dot with third variable right let me execute this program you can see here value of a and b before swapping is 10 and 20 value of a and b after swapping is 20 and 10 right so this is with the help of third variable but most of the interviewers uh, will ask not to use third variable so i will take the same method i will just change the name without without third variable so without third variable means i will not be having temp here right so here we have to change our logic so how do we change our logic right in a right i will have a plus b so the value will be 30 now right first i am going to add a and b the value of a will be 30 now in b right the value of a is 30 and value of b is currently 20 a minus b means 30 minus 20 will be 10 so in b what should i get 10 should i should get 10 so a minus b okay in b i will get now 10 b is equal to 10 right 
so a is equal to a plus b the value of a is 30 b is equal to a minus b 30 minus 20 the value of b has become 10 now a is equal to now the value of b is 10 that is achieved but a should be 20 right a is equal to right a is still 30 b has become 10 once again a minus b okay so here 30 minus 10 right after executing this step b will be 10 but a will be still 30 30 minus 10 that will become 20 okay you can see here this this is this is very very uh, uh, you know simple concept but little bit tricky when you are trying to understand i will just explain this once again a is equal to a plus b means first i will be adding a and b a will become 30 right and i will subtract a and b a minus b a is 30 after executing this step a is 30 so 30 minus b is 20 right b has not changed here in this step b has not changed but the value of a has changed so a plus b will be 30 b has not changed so 30 minus 20 in this step 30 minus 20 that would be 10 right so value of b has changed here to 10 and what is the value of a after this step after this step value of a will still be 30 now a is equal to a minus b means first i will subtract a minus b 30 minus 10 the output is 20 and that will be assigned to a okay so we'll execute this program or this method now you can see here i am calling without third variable method if we execute this you can see here value of a and b before swapping is 10 and 20 value of a and b after swapping is 20 and 10 right so that's how uh, we can achieve this and as soon as the interviewer asks this question you can directly you know write this you don't have to explain both the ways but for your understanding i have explained there are two ways but you can always explain them in the interview without third variable right i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much